All right, what's up, animators? So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the uh, Acid Warp tool so you can warp uh, bitmap graphics and also uh, your shape graphics. So let me see here. There we go. So there's a picture here I brought in from pixels.com. I uh, broke it apart, got the bunny there, and here's the pins there that you can use to manipulate your character. Ooh, long ears. All right, so let's get started. First, what I'm gonna do is uh, find an image, and I'm gonna go over to pexels.com, get these royalty-free images here. Pexels.com, similar to pixels, but spelling is a little different. So I'm gonna type in cute animals. Here we go. And oh, look at all these cute animals here. And I'm just gonna scroll through here, and I wanna get a bunny. Or that cat looks cool too. And if they have a solid background, should be easier to trace using the uh, loop cut tool there. Cute animals. I had other ones earlier. Let's see this one here. I want to get something where the where the ears are separate. So I don't want to stretch it. Cute animals bunny. There we go. All right. That one looks cool. Should I use that one? You don't want the full body. Oh, that's cute. Here's the one I'm using and that other one. I think I'll just go with that one. Oh, that one's cute too. All right, so I'll use this one again. So I'm gonna left click it. And I want something with the ear separate so, so it will be easier to animate. And this is a free to use. Oh, here's other similar pictures. Maybe I'll get the one with the glasses. That'd be more, uh, more lassoing I have to do though. So I'm gonna right click it, copy image. Back over to anime. Here I have a nice clean new project, Control V Paste. All right, my picture's humongous. Free transform tool. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to hold it here, one of these corner pins. Hold on the shift key. Hold on the left mouse button and drag down. And I'm going to pull it up. With my mouse cursor having the, uh, the four-sided arrow there. And put it around there. Cool. Let me zoom into it. So magnifying glass. Click on the center. There we go. All right. So make sure your, uh, your bitmap graphic is selected. And then you're going to go over here to modify and break apart. It's going to break it up to individual pixels, break apart. And it's going, it's going, it's going. Let's see, free transform tool. Click on it. Didn't happen. Let me try it again. Modify. Uh, break apart. It did break it apart. Cool. All right, so we broke it apart. So let me try the lasso so I can start tracing it. So I'm going to have to zoom out a bit so I can see the whole bunny. There we go. Lasso tool. And let's see if I can try lasso from here. There it is, so it's now uh, broken apart. Let me click out of there, here we go. So now I'm gonna start tracing the the outline here of the ears. So I can select only the the bunny, and I can move it out of the, the yellow there, out of the yellow background, so I don't have a yellow background. Also that, um, that background is part of this bitmap graphic. If you can find an image uh, with the transparent background, that'll be great. But right now, if I were to Move the ear, it also move the yellow or anything else that's in the background. It'll look like a bad Photoshop. So we'll do here. I'm gonna skip that part right there on the outside. And get this little paw here. There we go. Then later I can go and clean it up after I take the bunny out. Try to go inward a little bit so I don't have to clean it up as much. But they're sticking out. Just hold it on the left mouse button as I drag to use the lasso tool, and I gotta complete the loop once I get up there and get that eyeball there. Ooh, a little challenging. And complete the loop. Cool. All right, so that's selected there. I'm just gonna hold down the left mouse button and drag it out of the way. Cool. Now I'm gonna click in here one time, maybe two times. So we'll click. We'll go to selection tool. Click on it. Did I select it? Try to delete it. Transform tool, click on it. Here we go. So transform tool. Now I can delete it. Let me click on my bunny one time. Free transform tool, bring it over. All right. So here's small areas here that um, that I can delete. So I'm gonna go over here with the lasso tool and select the little small areas there where there was some yellow left. I might have to dig in there some more. Delete key. There we go. There's some yellow in there. Delete key. Uh, there's some more yellow in here. Yeah, that's cool, delete key. All right, that would be too specific. I'm gonna leave that in the eye right there. Uh, if I am picky about it, I can zoom into it a lot and then get a little details out of it, but I'll leave it there. That looks like a small reflection. 
All right, so here we go. Let me go back to free transform tool, click on my bunny here. All right, now I'm gonna convert it back to a bitmap graphic because right now it's not a bitmap graphic. We're gonna modify, convert to bitmap. Cool, all right, so if you're using a bitmap graphic, it has to say as a bitmap graphic while you use the, uh, the warp tool. And the warp tool is this one right here. Asset warp tool is this pin, push, push pin right here. Boom, all right. And now you wanna decide where you wanna pin down. So I want to pin down the ear, so I'm going to click here on the top. There we go. Click one time and then convert everything to this mesh pattern here. And click one down here. And I'll put one here. And then one up here. All right. So now if I want to move it, I have to have the tool active. And I can hover on the on the selection there. So look at my mouse cursor. So if I, if I want to add a pin, it should be a pin. So when I have this pin icon here, I can add a pin. But then when it has a little arrow there, so there's a pin with the plus sign to add a pin, but when it has the arrow with the pin, that's for me to manipulate the pin. See, you can do that, Control Z undo. And the reason I added pins down here is to pin this down, because if I just had a pin right there, it actually moved the entire bunny. So let me show you an example over here. So these are, um, this one here has four pins. So if I move this pin, this uh, will relatively stay there because those pins are holding it down. Kind of like a blanket if I had it nailed to the wall or pinned down to the wall, see, there we go. And then this one only has one down here. So if I pull this, it's going to pull these other sides a lot more because they're not pinned down. See, it's even flipping it, rotating along that pin. So just like actual pins on a wall, it will work the same. So I pin these down in here so that it doesn't move the whole bunny. Let's see you want to bend in the middle of the ear. You can add a pin in there too. There we go. So this one here, so I can wiggle the, the nose. But I don't want to wiggle the whole bunny, so I add more pins around here so that the, everything else stays in place. I don't want the eyes getting all messed up, so I can click there inside the eyes. There we go. Please don't do that to an actual bunny. And I say you want to move the feet. There we go. Little pause there. There we go. And these are there to pin down the rest of the bunny. Cool. All right, so let's see, let's move these around. There we go, a little wiggle. And you can actually also do a classic tween. So I'm gonna go over here to frame 15. I'm gonna right click, enter to keep frame. And I'm going to reposition these ears. So I'm going to pull this one up, down, this one down a bit too. And then maybe make the pause go out a little bit. All right, so stretching that part out. So I could have added a pin in there, but I'm just going to leave it alone. And maybe uh, I'll do a, a nose wiggle later. All right. So I'm going to right click in here, create classic swing. Let it go through. All right, let me select my loop tool right here. Oh. That's not the loop to this one right here. And stretch this out. I'm at the play button. So there we go. So it looks kind of weird, a little funky. So I have it uh, go back. So I'm gonna go to 30. I'm gonna select this frame right here. Now I'm gonna right click it, copy frames, and I'll paste it at 30 so it goes back to the original position there. Paste frames. And then I'll add it for uh, 40 more frames. Paste frames, same frame again. There we go. And I even added the tween in there. Right here, create classic tween. Make this a little wider. And right here, there's actually nothing happening in there. But if I want to, I can uh, select this frame right here, where the ears are out. Right click it, copy frames, and paste it over here. Paste frames. All right. There we go. So now I'll play button. There we go. It looks a little trippy. I don't like it. it. Looks a little shaky. Don't be scared, little bunny. Now I'll make a nose wiggle. So I'll go over here to frame. Let's try frame 45. Right click, insert keyframe. It's the regular keyframe. Still wants to tween in here. So I'm going to right click in there, remove classic tween. And here as well, remove classic tween. So this will just be a regular frame by frame animation. So I got my warp tool here selected. I'm going to move the nose. Actually, I wanted the ears to be back up here, so I'll just manually do it. All right, and I'm going to select the nose here, move it over to the right a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to go over here to frame. How many frames should I go out? Let's try two more frames out or three. Let's go with the right there, three frames out. Insert just a regular frame. And no, actually, I want a keyframe in there. Control Z. I click in there, insert keyframe, and move it over to the left. There we go. So now we have a wiggle there. 
And so now I'm going to select this frame here. This is the one uh, where it's over here to the right, or my viewer right, so bunny's left. And then this one is the opposite direction. So I'm going to paste this one every few frames. Right click, copy frames, and every third frame, right? So skip two, and then edit there, paste frames. There we go. So now this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six frames later, three, three, it's around there. It doesn't have to be perfect, just around there. Enter key, paste frames, paste frames, and then six more. I'm just freehanding it, imagining that it's there, not really counting them. Paste frames. All right, so these are all the same. And this one's the other direction. So now I'm going to paste this one in between there. Right click, copy frames, paste frames. And paste frames here in the middle somewhere, paste frames. All right, so let me loop this section here. Play button. There we go. Cool. So check out the whole thing, control enter. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> All right, and that's it. You can add other stuff in there. Another little critter. There you go, file, save as, save this project. <laughs> Let's see, cute bunny wiggle. Oh. Okay, save, and then get my video here. File, export, export video media, and uh, same name, and I'll be done. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, uh, hit the notification bell, share the video. Anything helps. Have an awesome day. Bye.